Salem police officer. I want to assure you, and I've spoken this morning with our police chief, Jerry Moore, we take this situation very seriously. He is taking this situation very seriously. The investigation has begun. That investigation is one that will be conducted under the rules and the regulations of the City of Salem and the Salem Police Department. It's a different process than you're witnessing this evening with regard to the censure and the resignation of a city council member. So I, I just ask you to bear that in mind when you don't see the city council beginning to take action. It's because that action will be taken in a different forum, but I can assure you the investigation has begun. The police chief knows that the city council is very concerned about this and we've communicated that to him and to our city administrators. Okay, we're going to take, uh, I have one more person, two more people on the list. Karen Mezer, followed by Ronnie Ding Dingus. Daniel. Daniel, thank you. <laughs> Laura. Oh, right. And that, uh, <laughs> All right, thank you. And then we are going to do a break, but here we are for Karen. Thank you, welcome. Thank you very much, and I am speaking on the Agenda 5B, the fee waiver. So I'm t not talking about the subject that everyone else has been talking about. Uh, so, my name is Karen Messer, and thank you, Mayor and Councils, uh, for uh, letting me speak tonight. Uh, I, uh, I'm with Jewish Salem Life Center, which, by the way, is a, a totally inclusive and diverse community group. The, uh, this is about a public menorah here in our capital city of Salem, Shalom. The menorah is recognized as a global symbol of freedom and light. A large public menorah is in many cities not only uh, in, in this country, but around the world. And we are requesting a fee waiver to make that happen here. Uh, Jewish Salem Life Center is paying for the menorah. It has the support of the entire Jewish community here. And we will set it up, we will take it down, maintain it, and store it during the year. However, we are a small nonprofit and we uh, are funded by the Greater Salem Community and uh, with a fee waiver, which we will be glad to pay the annual processing fee, but with a fee waiver, uh, we can partner with Salem and uh, make it become part of the Salem Community's annual holiday display. That's what we're asking. Thank you very much. Thank you, we appreciate your testimony. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. Where's my list? Welcome. My name is Ronnie Daniels, and I'm just a blue collar man. I want to thank everybody for being here. Uh, I want to address something from this angle. I'm sorry for Mr. Benjamin's accountabilities. I didn't realize it was beyond that. Based on the testimony I heard, it's more than just one situation. But to make a long story short, ladies and gentlemen, this could be happening to you. What about you? Whatever you do on your iPhone or Jealousy 5 or whatever the heck else. Is it, if you're going to be crucifying a man for his free speech, that makes it, and he is a public of, official, that is true. He should be held accountable. I'm not saying here or there. But it could be somebody from your work. It could be somebody that might want to loan you money, buy a house, or buy a car. They could take these same constraints in reality. What you're asking is to go through and have your liberties given away. I'm, the process has been done and been exonerated. The process is well done, no problem. But I'm asking you people to look at it from a constitutional standpoint when nine out of 10, seven out of 10 kids can't even tell me three branches of government in the city of Salem alone, not counting like Menville, where they can only two of them can tell me that. But at the same time, I would urge and encourage all you people, not just rely on your city councilors, you are the government people. You, you, you. All of us, they may be laughing behind me, hypocritical, cussing me, whatever the hell else. You are the government. The government is only good as you let it become. You can't go through and ask the 
and come in soon to be married, Mr. Bennett here coming in, and various other people on the city council to do all your answers and everything else. I hear from the NAACP, and there were situations when I used to work at a store, a retail store, and I tried to address it, they wouldn't make time, unless this becomes a major issue. This should be a daily fight individually, empowerly, but joyfully respectful of each other's rights and liberties and opinions, no matter what their gender, life, or credibility is. What I see happening is, a, it's a lambasement of the individual that formerly resigned. This will look up more like a beauty show, in my opinion. But, I did, but at the same time, the people, y'all get to speak, it's an awesome thing that we enjoy, endowed by founding fathers. I would encourage you, not just only ask for groups, you talk amongst your neighbors, whether you agree or disagree with my beliefs, my constitutionality, whatever the candidate. We have gotten away so far from being a community. It's time to get back to what got this country together, what makes this a city of peace. Until you people decide, to get skin in the game. Sometimes you don't need a fingernail. We don't need no more, like they say, keyboard commandos, but we need flesh in the game. You want changes in betterness in schools? You want your height to spend $13,000 a kid? And we're number 48 in the country in education. What's the problem? Parents gotta be accountable. I ask all of you, neighbors, friends, people that you despise, we all live in this place together. We all gotta come together, but be accountable, honestly, not a witch hunt. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're now going to take a break, and I'd ask you to please stay in your seats just long enough to let the council get down and get up the aisle so we can use the facilities.